Yeah, I've been in work now. I'm going to school. Yeah, to school. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something going on at the... Uh, yeah, there's this award gala. So I'm receiving this honor at school. Okay. End of year honor. So Congratulations. Thank you. Hope you have a very fun time. Yeah, it's my first time. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Okay. What type of honor, if you don't mind me asking? Um... It's actually for uh, honors program. I mean, you know how honors program work. We take harder classes than most other students. Yeah. And then we have to do like, there's like 10 units, like 10 credits that we have to get. And we get them when we do certain tasks such as fund, we have to attend four fundraisers, do certain hours of community service, and then do some like social work and then arts and culture as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of things and then at the end of the day people who complete it and then also have to maintain a certain gpa like it's basically people who go way beyond their, right of course yeah than the, than the uh normal class yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. la typical driving <laughs> <laughs> they will never let you know if they're doing if they pull something like that yeah, that's the reason I still didn't get my driver's license. Yeah, it's totally fine. If you don't want to drive here in LA, I totally, totally, we totally understand. Because <laughs> it can be, um, you really have to be cautious on the road yeah. these days. Because people like that can pull something of that sort. I'm still like learning how things work here because I, uh, I haven't been here for a long time. Like we moved here three months back so it's been for me it's been nine months and for, for my family it's been three months that mm -hmm. we're in the in the u.s i've lived here more than um, about 15 years 15 years so you're not from here originally uh, well i am I, i'm born and raised here but um i've lived in other sides of the world Okay. Um, I'm half Russian, half uh, Venezuelan. So I, I lived in uh, Moscow, Russia during the 90s wow. for six years. I've been to Russia. Uh, I've been to St. Petersburg, not Moscow though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was fun. It was for a competition for like it was for an Olympiad. So you oh. speak so you speak like three languages um as much as i want to i cannot speak russian for the life of me <laughs> i i used to speak it when i was a kid because you know when you're a kid you you absorb a lot of information yeah but the thing is it's like when when i came back here to the states no one spoke the language to me so i kind of slightly forgot okay you, like, you speak venezuelan uh, i could speak spanish very okay. fluent very fluent that that helps that helps here mm -hmm. Helps, uh, and it kind of helps a lot from uh, from time to time to uh, to get around places. There are some words I I, I don't quite understand, but um, it's what having family is for to help me understand it. Yeah. So you do this like full time? Yes, um, six days a week, eight eight to ten hours a day. Wow. So you you must you must like driving around. I like. I like driving. It uh, gets me. Um, I see a lot of new places, even though I've been here. Uh, even though I've been a native here, um, there are still some places I have not explored in LA. Yeah, it's huge. Like hidden places, things not on the website or on magazines that yeah. you should be exploring. Yep. Like my recent, my my recent exploration was. Um, like, I may have been in San Diego maybe once in my lifetime when I was a kid. Like, maybe when I was, in, like, a, a baby, you know? But I've been, to, I've been to San Diego about three times now to the point where I love San Diego. It, it, beats, it beats LA by a margin. With the traffic or with the laid-back life? Uh, laid-back life, traffic, and um, people. And the food. Food's better? Yeah. 
food, um, more of the Mexican food is better. I'm more into like the street food rather than going for Mexican food in restaurants. And that's totally fine because the street food here, they're 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 very delicious than than the restaurant type. Yeah, it has its own vibe. Yeah, like I could tell you um, one. Um, there's this food truck that's on. I believe it's. I believe it's on Hollywood and um, what's that one street? Let's see if I can look it up on my map. I believe it's Hollywood and Gower. Okay. Either Hollywood or and Gower or Hollywood and Wilton. Wilton Place. It's it's one of those two streets. It has a food truck right next to a um, right next to a uh, shoes wor uh, work work uh, workforce warehouse where you like you can buy any type of shoe over there like for work working shoes or or other other types. But um. They have a food truck there. It's very good Mexican food. When did um, they set up? Uh, they set up in, inside the parking lot. Okay. And I know the other street, uh, the uh, the other side of the street, there there is a container store. Okay. It's it's Hollywood and Gore. Um, I believe it's Ho okay. let me let me double check. I believe it's Hollywood and Gower. Okay. Or Holly Hollywood and Wilton Place. Okay. I'll I'll look into it. Um, it is, uh, it's not expensive at all. And this is the original Tommy's burger. I've heard about it. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to come here for a while, but it's so much work, school, <laughs> just waiting for the semester to end. Once you're, once you're, once you have free time and if you're a food guy, um, there are a couple of places I like too. Um, when you have a day off, particularly a Sunday, yeah, um, it's a very good family event. It's it's a place called Smorgasbord. Oh, let me let me find out. How do you spell it? Smorgasbord. Uh, go, do Google. S M O R. Yeah, yeah, I got it. It's like. 2.9 miles from here yeah it's like a it's like a um yeah it's it's like a night market alameda street yeah on alameda street yeah, yeah. it's more of a um food truck market okay that there's like different types of food trucks that on uh, that uh typical different types of gourmet foods that these food trucks offer and honestly it's um it's a very good sunday to spend yeah th thanks for the like the the food looks delicious. Also, it looks like the night market in Santa Monica, you know, yeah, six they, to six. Yeah, they, they're, um, that's, I think that's on uh, Fairfax, I believe, the night market that they have there. Yeah. So, so is it like more busy on Saturdays and Sundays for you? Um, yeah, just the introduction of um, <clears throat> introduction Fridays, Friday through 
Friday to Friday and Saturday are the most busiest. Sunday is kind of mediocre. Mm -hmm. okay. Sun Sundays can be super busy in the mornings because everyone's going to like, you know, church or yeah, or like food places, beach wise too. But um. I really felt like the introduction to the weekends, like uh, Fridays and Sa Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays are the most busiest because everyone's going to different places. Yeah, and if you have a holiday on Monday or Thursday, that just adds to it. Yep. Yeah, the um, Memorial Day weekend yeah. was busy. Even though it was with gloom, gloomy weather, it still was busy. slow uh, trip day um, but I usually do um, between 17 to 20 trips a day uh, for for the weekends but during the weekdays I do 25 to 30 trips wow. it's less on weekends yeah because the um, it's the money intake that I get okay like the like it's more compared to the weekdays yeah for less amount of trips mm -hmm. Usually during the weekends, uh, it could be more, um, depending on like, if I was doing the trip count, like if uh, if they gave me the, the quest, uh, these uh, quest incentives where I tr the more trips I do, the more uh, the morning, the more money gain, uh, the, the, uh, uh, meaning like, if I had to do 50 trips within a three day work period, I get a bonus on on, okay. on that but now ever so ever since i i've been driving on a dedicated um on a dedicated dedicated goal they managed to tell me like oh if you drive if you make this much over this weekend you know you could get you could get like 80 dollars on top of your pay like okay all right to the point where i'm just driving i, I have my daily goal set to like during the weekends it's 200 or 250. uh during the weekdays it's 100 it's 150 to, to 200. Okay. So, can you do like, if you want, you can do both Uber and Lyft or other regulations? Um, I just stick to Uber. Okay. I used to do um, Uber, Uber Eats, and like, and um, Lyft. But honestly, I just keep with Uber and then I'm, I'm good. I know a lot of people do the whole like, Uber and, and Lyft. Like they multitask. Yeah. If Uber's not picking up, then Lyft will pick up. If if Lyft doesn't pick up, then yeah, vice versa. Depends on the location because mostly like where you picked us from, Koya Town, we usually get Ubers, but go to Westwood, it's more of Lyft over there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Glendale Community. Okay, I know where that is. Yeah, I was always. I was 
was always thinking like, wait, the, it's not England, it's more of the La Canada area, but yeah, no, yeah, we're <laughs> going towards La Canada area. Yeah, it's like outside of Glendale, if you say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though it's funny because they still consider it's Glendale. So yeah. Like, okay. All right. <laughs> Helps to stay within the Glendale limit because they get special special privileges with that. Yeah. Yep. That's true. Mountain Street. Thank you.